What's going on you guys? Chasing here with another movie recommendation of the day. Uh, I've been thinking hard about what I'm going to do today and I figured the one genre that I have not given enough love and uh, one of my favorites is the horror genre. So I figured what better way to start the weekend if in reality weekends even mean anything anymore. Uh, and recommend a good solid horror film. Now this is not your average slasher. This is a film that's going to come with a lot of aspects and I think that's why it was my favorite film of 2018. Um, if you go back to yesterday I recommended Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse which is my second favorite film in 2018 which I thought was incredibly unique and so different and had such a life to it an energy that I have not experienced in such a long time. So for a movie to beat out Spider-Verse it had to be something so unique. I don't really remember how it all happened, but as you guys know, Mr. James Shu and I do weekly movie or did weekly movie premieres at AMC Town Square, and hopefully one day we'll continue to do so. Um, but for whatever reason, Shu and our, our good friends were out of town, and I was the only one uh, managing the premiere, and then the only person who chose Suspiria over whatever big blockbuster movie was out at that time. So I saw this movie all by myself. That's right, I already said the title. Uh, the 2018 film Suspiria, which will be on Amazon Prime now. Now, mind you, there is a 1977 film. It was an Italian horror film that's very, very famous for its use of color, its use of intense gore, but not for its character or plot development or anything like that. It is a very famous horror film when it comes to the genre of horror, particularly Italian. Um, but then it got in the hands uh, in 2018 of a, uh, doing a remake. Tilda Swinton plays three characters in the film. Dakota Johnson, famous for playing Anastasia Steele, uh, plays the main character in this film. And, and here's the situation. I could tell you what Suspiria is about, but you're going to have a far better experience the less you know about it. Um, basically, it's set in 1977, when the original movie actually came out. And Dakota Johnson goes to Berlin, which in the 70s in Berlin, obviously, you know there's going to be a uh, political... political uh, metaphors going on there's a lot of themes in this movie it's very very deep it's also one of the most absorbing films i've ever seen every aspect of it the score the cinematography the way that the movie moves the way that the movie looks is just so absorbing that it's almost hypnotic um so 1977 dakota johnson moves to a dance studio hoping to be trained by one of the best dancers of all time and she ends up finding out that she plays more of a role in this upcoming production than she knows. Uh, that's where I'll leave it, and trust me, you're going to want to watch it. Uh, this movie is about dance, and as a person who, while I like dance, I've never been able to truly appreciate the art of dance, um, this movie is amazing, and it's so absorbing, and it uses that medium to kind of create this very scary but also um, very ritualistic uh, type of symbolism and i mean it, it, it's it's phenomenal the cinematography is great the score is great tilda swinton plays three different roles but she's really really good as one dakota johnson proves that she could do so much more than the 50 shades of gray movie uh it's really an explosive absorbing but cold and calculated movie uh it, it's addressing a lot of different themes here we have characters who represent the moral compass i mean it is very very heavy but so full of insanity and and intense gore a lot of people saw clips of this at CinemaCon a couple years back and were like they was right before lunch and supposedly no one was able to eat lunch uh, you know those rumors go but trust me phenomenal phenomenal film check it out Suspiria that's me my movie recommendation of the day back to Mr. James Show